six. Whenever I meet people, like being a tall dude, they're like, oh, how tall are you? And I'm like, I'm six, six. And like, do you play basketball? And I'm like, no. And like, just with that being all the information they know about me, they're like, wow, what a fucking waste of a human life. What a waste of attention. I can go to med school and be like, the best doctor ever. Like, what the fuck? I could be the best doctor. I could cure cancer. <laughs> That's not funny. I, I can do it. I can go to school. I'm too tall. I'm a kid. I can cure cancer. Or too tall for med I can cure cancer, and the newspaper article would read, 6'6 doctor cures cancer. And a cancer patient would read that and be like, 6'6? That motherfucker should have been hooping. He should have been, 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 been playing basketball. <laughs> Take. <laughs> Some of us got hoop dreams in this bitch. Another weird thing about being tall is like I get a random call to action from like short people, like to like, reach some shit for them. Like I'll be in the grocery store. This guy's tall and he's like, yes, yes. Like, I'm tired of doing that shit. Like maybe it's up there for a reason. Maybe, like maybe God didn't want you to get those apple jacks. <laughs> This tall and I'm more than like aware of that. I'm more than aware that all the delicious shit is up on the top. You know why I think they do that? Yeah. They do that. I think they do that to keep it away from the people who ride around and let those grocery store go bad. Yeah, you all have to get the skinny pop, fuck the bottom marble shit. But I think they do it to keep it away from them because if you're so fat, if you're so fat that you're riding around in a grocery store moped to get your food, then you're on your last leg. Or you're actually on your last leg. In which case, get your ass some Apple Jacks. I'm sorry. One of my least favorite things about being tall, though, is like every time I go to a concert or a music festival, people use me to like find their friends. Like, I I Do you see me? Do you see? Look, I'm standing, I'm standing by this really, really tall guy. No, I, I don't know what race he is. He looks like a like Rick Fox, like fucked in the asparagus from Veggie Tales. <laughs> <laughs> that guy here the whole thing. Blame you, you gotta do that shit. I, I'm not, I'm not too mad about it. I'm not too mad about it for the short people. We don't gotta be, we don't gotta be. Uh, y'all some freaks though, for sure. If you come to the Ron Jeremy show, right? Y'all some freaks. Yeah, make some noise if you're a freak right now. Yeah. <laughs> 
exploded all over her chest. <laughs> If you're going anywhere on vacation, I recommend Amsterdam because a blowjob in Amsterdam costs fifty dollars. I feel like me personally, I couldn't get a blowjob for fifty dollars. I compare like everything else for fifty dollars. Like, how much was your pretzel? Like ten dollars? Was it? It was good. It was. In my mind, I would think that, but I'd be like, nah, it's not one fifth of a blowjob. Good. <laughs> Do a joke. Do another joke? Do another joke. Yeah, Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do another joke. I'm gonna do another joke and you're gonna regret it. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been dating recently and I, uh, I went on a date with a Catholic girl. And we're, everything's going great on the date. She orders her food, she gets the chicken parm. You know? And we're talking about stuff and she's like, I just wanna let you know up front I'm Catholic. So that means like I don't want to like have sex until I'm married. I'm like that's cool, that's fine with me, and I appreciate you for letting me know up front. And she goes, oh, but you know it's okay. Like I still do butt stuff, <laughs> just not on me. And I was like, bitch, who? <laughs> You're not about to put your finger in my ass. And she's like, fingers? No, I I eat ass. I'm like, you eat ass? That's some crazy shit in my mind. I never heard of a girl eating ass. But we go back to eating our food, and she's like, this chicken, it's dry. I think, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna send it back. Oh, I, I don't know about you, but I feel like you don't get to have food preferences if you eat ass. <laughs> like, I'm not a chef. I'm not a chef. But if the waiter came back and was like, hey, yo, the lady was talking about eating ass, she's not really fucking with your chicken. I, I, I kill myself. I kill myself. Alright, y'all.